looks really easy. We're comparing pretty much three diagrams here, right? And they all have uh, represent different values. In this case, what are they looking for? What is the context? Navina. The shaded sections, right? Now, this type of question is, it's, again, the process is very simple. What are we, essentially, we're just counting, right? But because it's so simple, it opens you up to minor error. So, the biggest thing about this type of question is just to be detailed, right? And do whatever you can to make it easier for yourself. Um, mark up your paper, give them values, and then just like with the logic, try to write a diagram if you can. Okay, it makes it easier when you connect the diagram with the answer selections. This is where it's really easy to make the mistake, right? Again, and it just comes down to detail. These may seem easy, but again, it's it's just test taking process. That's what it is. Um, so comparisons, especially for the easy ones, make sure you give yourself as much context as possible. Okay, uh, let's see, same thing if we look at 67, again, it's just counting lines, writing the relationships and then diagramming, right, diagramming when we can, relating the diagram to the answers. Okay, those are comparisons, let's find a non-geometric comparison. Let's look at this one, 64, okay? Three different equations. They're not hard equations, right? We have to use order of operations. What, what do I mean by that? Um, what do I mean by order of operations, Alara? Um, like, order, order of, of operations. Like, like, times to yeah. left by right, times yeah, divide, right. then plus and, and minus. Do, yeah. yeah, PEMDAS, right? Sure. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. That's true. Please